Hello everyone. So very important PYQ is the interpretation of some of the measures of strength of association. So here they are asking you about population attributable risk. Okay. So the population attributable risk calculated between smoking and lung cancer is 95%. Identify the correct statement. Incidence among exposed minus incidence among non-exposed is what this statement tells us. Incidence in total population minus incidence in non-exposed. Similarly, we have two more options. Now the important thing is what is population attributable risk okay so we all know these are measures of strength of association okay and where are these measures of strength of association being used in a cohort study okay so here we have three one is relative risk okay one is relative risk or you also call it as risk ratio okay the other one is attributable risk and population attributable risk now suppose here you will have disease yes no okay and risk factor will always come on the row side so risk factor present not present a b c d it's always a b c d so what was the formula for relative risk if you remember cohort tells us about incidence so incidence among exposed divided by we will have incidence among non-exposed right that's the formula for attributable risk we are just revising the formula okay incidence among exposed all right minus incidence among non-exposed okay divided by incidence among exposed but if you come to population attributable risk it is incidence among total population okay it is incidence among total population minus incidence among non-exposed divided by incidence among the total population okay so that is what is population attributable risk now what does it mean see suppose if you talk about relative risk if it can be more than one equal to one or less than one we were studying smoking and lung cancer so if relative risk is more than one it means positive association or risk factor okay equal to one means what that whether you do or not do that thing it has nothing to do with the outcome so no association but if it comes less than one it is a protective factor all right or inverse association attributable risk means like suppose we are studying smoking and lung cancer it comes out to be 75 percent okay attributable risk is 75 percent it means 75 percent of lung cancer cases is attributed to smoking but if my population attributable risk let's say comes out to be 90 percent okay let's say we were studying smoking and lung cancer it simply means that if smoking is eliminated okay as a risk factor okay as a risk factor there will be 90 percent reduction in annual incidence of lung cancer cases in exposed or entire population in entire population because here we are taking population attributable risk okay so there will be 90 percent reduction in annual incidence of lung cancer cases in entire population okay so that is why that is of this is of importance to whom policy makers so incidence among exposed my earnest incidence among non-exposed that's attributable risk if smoking is eliminated as risk factor there will be 95 percent reduction in annual incidence of lung cancer cases among exposed no among the entire population that's the buzzword that is why par is of importance to policy makers thank you so much